Deciding how to start your clothing business can be one of the most difficult decisions to make. Hey everyone, thank you so much for clicking yet another video and welcome if you're new. My name is Tally G and this channel is all about me taking you guys along for the journey with me as I build this clothing brand. Now, a couple videos ago or maybe my last video, I went through like the basics of like starting your own clothing brand and I touched on these points a little bit, but I wanted to create a video that expands on these points a lot more so that you get a more clearer like understanding of all the options that you have when it comes to starting a clothing brand and the pros and cons of all of them so let's get into this video So I'd like to take this opportunity to let you guys know about Awesome. They are experts when it comes to organizing your business accounts so that you don't have to worry about filing your company accounts and paying your taxes on time. Guys, I currently have a bill of, no, it's not even a bill, it's a penalty of 375 pounds for not filing my accounts on time. <laughs> it's not a joke. Awesome accountants take care of all of your financial admin through their app and are always at hand to answer any questions that you may have. They'll also give you advice based on your company accounts. So it's kind of sort of like having like a little financial manager. They will track your finances whilst managing your payments and your invoices. And this is done all in one place. This is so that you can focus on doing things that are much more exciting things that i like to focus on which is the reason why i've got a penalty yeah you can focus on reaching out to new customers marketing and just building your brand so be sure to click the link in my bio I'll link it down here and to sign up for awesome today there is a discount for you guys so yeah so the first option that i'm gonna explore with you guys is print on demand or pod this is when a customer will place an order on your website as normal however a third party Party will process the order for you. They will send this order to your customer and you will never see the product or hold any inventory. Sounds good, right? So let's explore the pros. It is super easy to get started with print on demand. There is no startup costs because if you think about it, you only actually pay once your customer has placed an order so it literally costs almost nothing to start there is no need for storage because like i mentioned you hold no inventory this also means that it's super scalable because like say if you're trying to cater to like thousands of customers a day you don't have to worry about packing thousands of orders a day this also means that you have the potential to reach international audiences like following brexit shipping anything out of the uk to a european country is an absolute nightmare but a lot of these print on demand companies are based in Europe which means you're not losing out on your European customer base so of course with pros comes some cons the first con is it does tend to have a low profit margin the reason being is the cost of the actual product and having it printed and shipped obviously is going to be at a much higher cost than you already having the product like with you and doing the shipping yourself one thing and this bothers me a lot is the lack of control i don't know if you guys have picked it up i'm a little bit control free the fact that somebody else is shipping your orders for you it does not okay let me not be like biased in this video but i will say that that just does not sit well with me and i just don't like the lack of control so yeah that's my <laughs> that's my only little two pence i am supposed to be impartial when i make these videos but yeah you don't have control because it's somebody else that is shipping out these products for you. The fulfillment time can actually be quite long. They are waiting for the customer to place an order before they even start processing this garment. So once a customer places an order, they then have to print the order and then fulfill the order. And these sorts of things can take quite a bit of time. You can't check the quality of the product that is being sent out every time. Like, of course you can get a sample, but you're not gonna be 
able to check every single product that is being sent out because you never actually see the product. So next up is private labeling. Now I'm going to put private labeling in the same category as say you're buying a t-shirt wholesale and you're finding a local company to print on it because it's pretty much the same kind of gist when it comes to the pros and the cons. But yeah, let me get into what I mean by private labeling. So private labeling is when you pretty much act as a buyer and you purchase garments at wholesale and then you add your own label into the back and you do your whole like packaging and all that stuff so you actually hold the inventory wherever it is that you're running your business and this is a super popular method when it comes to like those small little boutiques that you find on like Instagram and stuff and also even like big brands do kind of use this method as well and it is a great way to get started especially if you want to have a range of products you will need to find a vendor or wholesaler that sells what it is that you want and then you will sell those products at a markup when it comes to the t-shirt version of this method you basically will find a wholesaler that sells the t-shirt blanks or the hoodie blanks or the tracksuit bottom blanks that you want then you will send it off to a local printer or an embroiderer or sometimes some of those wholesale companies can also provide that service as well and you will have your logo printed or embroidered onto the garment and then the garment is sent to you and then you're also able to private label your garment as well so do you see what i mean by it they're kind of similar even though the latter is a bit more customizable but with some private label company wholesale companies depending on your minimum order quantity they do allow some sort of customizations as well but it really just depends what kind of company you go for so let's explore the pros so you can access a large range of products and they tend to be in season so you don't really need to have manufacturing knowledge or design knowledge really because the wholesale company or the vendor whatever you want to call it will have these garments already manufactured for you this tends to be much lower in terms of cost when you're comparing it to cut and sew and it can also be done with little to no experience it's easier to get started in comparison to cut and sew which i'm going to get onto after and since you hold the stock you hold the inventory you're going to have control over your customer experience so now let's explore the cons the cons the cons the cons although you can customize certain bits when it comes to certain wholesale companies there are also limitations when it comes to customizations so a lot of the time you can't really like change the fabric or change the trim or change the cut it's typically things like changing the colors that's what you can do or add in a logo there's a chance yeah there was a chance that the private label company that you're using just decides to discontinue a product that's selling really well on your website and then you're gonna have to like find another company that sells the exact same thing so you lack a little bit of control when it comes to that side of thing also another thing when it comes to a lot of these private label companies are quality issues there's no real way to keep on top of quality when it comes to some of these companies but one way you can do is always make sure that you're getting samples of everything that you're introducing into your store more time you may be unknowingly sourcing garments unethically because you may not necessarily know where these garments are being produced or manufactured and the impact that it's having on people and also sustainability also the minimum order quantity or the moq from certain private label companies can be quite high and also adding on to that a lot of the time you need to be registered as a business in order to access quite a lot of these wholesale websites and since you are going to be storing the inventory you are going to need some space some sort of storage which can be quite difficult especially if you just genuinely don't have the space so the last option is cut and sew so cut and sew is a term that is used when it comes to manufacturing your own garments from scratch this is done with your own design requirements and it tends to be what most aspiring designers strive to get to this point now let's explore the pros and cons so the pros you are not limited to what you can produce to what you can design because you can basically design and create whatever it is that you want to sell this means you have a lot more creative control over the whole process you have control
control over your fabric, your trims, and the overall finish and quality of the garment that you're producing. You can also control where the garment is made and also ensure that the fabric that is being used is being sourced sustainably. The people that are creating the garments are being paid properly. You have a lot more control over where your garment is coming from. Let's explore the cons. <laughs> Cut and sew is the hardest one of them all. I'm not even going to lie. I've never really done print on demand, but I have done like the private label method and cut and sew is the hardest because you need to have knowledge about what it is that you're doing and what it is that you want to make it can be expensive it can be really expensive actually because you have to go through the sampling process you got to make tech packs you got to make patterns you got to source fabrics it can get quite expensive and a lot of the time you're going to be sourcing your garments from overseas manufacturers so you have to take into consideration import duty and stuff like that like the costs add up so it can be quite expensive and it can be quite difficult extreme incredibly difficult to find a manufacturer to find a manufacturer that you're happy with i've lost money because of manufacturers so it can be very hard to find a decent reputable manufacturer to use minimum order quantities can also be quite difficult to meet because you're making a fully customized product it has the highest startup cost because you basically have to put a lot of money into it in the very beginning to then get your products and then start selling so you need to have quite a bit of capital to start and lastly on my list of cons is that the lead time to actually getting your product so going from your design stage through to you having a physical product in your hand it can be long for my last collection it took just over a year and me i class myself as somebody that has a little you know a little bit of experience in the game but it still took me a year so i have covered print on demand private labeling and i have covered cut and sew my little two pence if you want to hear it personally if i was starting my business tomorrow i would first go down the wholesale route so if i was starting a streetwear brand i would get blank t-shirts blank hoodies blank track suits and i would print my design put my logo i'll make sure that i'm getting good quality blanks i have a video about blank t-shirts and i'm gonna make more videos about blank hoodies and baby clothes and i'm gonna do a whole series it's coming i just need to buy the stuff so that's what i would do i would get t-shirt blanks hoodie blanks track suit blanks and I would print my logo on there and I would sell it. And this is how I would build my capital. But once I have built up enough capital from the sales of those wholesale t-shirts and wholesale hoodies, I would then use that capital to then go down the cut and sew route and begin to produce my collection exactly how I want in the way that I want with all the control that I need. I do have my starter kit coming out really, really soon, which goes into to incredible depth about how to start your clothing brand yeah you can sign up on my website to be notified when that comes out be sure to check out awesome i will link everything that you will need in the description below guys i really really hope that this video has been helpful for you guys and yeah please guys don't forget to like this video if you liked it press that subscribe button i'm trying to get to 100k 25k to start with and yeah i will catch you guys in my very next video goodbye